Okay, task 7.3. So the first thing I'd like you to do in R uh, is load a data file. That'll be the first line of code you're going to write, is you're going to define a variable and you're going to read a data, fi data file to that variable. Okay, so before we do that, I need you to download the data. Um, it's in this link here. So it's a data file about the baby elephant. Remember the formative question? So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to click on that. Do -ka -do -ka -do. And I'm going to click the download button here. You might see this, you might not. I'm going to click continue. I'm going to get that. And then I'm going to just open that quick. Okay. And this is the important bit. I am going to save that file in the directory I just created a second ago called intro to R. And I'm just going to click save. Okay, now that's, that bit was really important. Okay, that data file has to be in the same directory that you are working in in R Studio. If I go back to my R Studio now, you can see that I've got this baby elephant CSV file too. You should see that. That if it, you can't see that, you're going to get an error. Okay, uh, let me just click on it to make sure everything's good. You can actually view that file in R Studio. There you go. This is the raw data I'm looking at, and um, we can load that data. Um, now there's two ways you can do this. Um, you can do it in the console. Let's so let's let's create a variable. I'm, I, you can't see me, but I'm doing uh, inverted quotation mark with my fingers, um, and I'm going to call it. I'm just going to create a variable called data. Now that's just a, that's just an object in R. Um, don't worry too much about what an object is yet, but it's just a thing in which I'm going to slam all of that data into. And if I want to call it again, I'm just going to call the word data, okay? So I've typed data and I've typed a less than sign and a hyphen, okay? And that is the symbol that the, or the pair of symbols that we use in R to assign stuff to a variable, okay? It's that simple. If you're using another program in language, you might use an equal sign, but in R, conventionally, we use the less than sign followed by the hyphen, okay? You can actually use an equals. It doesn't really make much difference, but this is the convention, so we're gonna stick to it. Um, and I am going to use um, the R function, and this is an intrinsic R function. You don't have to uh, load any packages or anything. It should just work. I'm going to type the word read dot csv and you can see our studio has been pretty kind to us and it's given us some autocomplete and a bit of information here that's really really useful if you actually take the time to to look at all this um, but I'm just going to open up a bracket now I'm going to use a quotation mark that's also really important and I'm going to type the name of my file name baby elephant dot csv and I'm going to press enter, right? And ha keep an eye on what happens. Well, nothing really happened over here. I got a new line, but something popped up over here. Right, now this is uh, a list of my variables for this project. And it's telling me here I've got 18 observables. Well, that's 18 rows. This is my raw data file. And two variables, which are, of course, the time and the weight. Now, if I double click on this, or I just click on it, um, R Studio will actually display that object and it actually formats it a bit nicer than how it is my raw data. I've got two columns um, of 18 rows. Okay, right, so the next question was uh, well, okay, before I go and I create another column here, which will be the way I'm going to convert this column into kilograms, just like I did in my Excel. I've used my console for this, and that's great, but it's not useful if I want to save the work and come back to it later, right? Everything I do here is going to have a limited lifespan. As soon as I close it down, it's going to disappear. And if I want to go back and do all the challenges in this project uh, or in this worksheet, I'm going to have to type them all in again, which actually is quite annoying. And um, especially if you're working with script file or working with you know, data and you're doing multiple steps um, and, you know, it gets a bit complicated, you don't really want to be able to have, you don't want to be having to type in these steps over and over again. So I'm going to do something clever. 
I'm going to create a script file. Now, a script file is essentially a list of instructions, um, just as you would type down here, but they're saved in a file. And you can run them over and over again as many times as you like. And of course, in R, we call that script file a .r file. So we are going to create a new file. Um, here it says entitled one, but I'm going to immediately click save. And I'm going to create a new file called, and again, I'm going to call it baby elephant. Now, the important distinction here is I'm going to do .r. Okay, and that is how we identify an R script file. Okay. Uh, now again, <coughs> I can just type data, uh, read.csv, and baby, if I press tab here, it will actually find that CSV for me. Isn't that cool? Um, I'm going to hit enter, and to run that line now in my script file, don't worry about this, I can clear that. Um, I am going to either click run, that'll work, or as a shortcut, I'm going to hold Control and Enter, and there you go. It's run that file. Nothing's changed because that data, that uh, variable already existed. Uh, but I'm now ready to create um, a final column. Look at that, which will just be in kilos. So let's go back to that baby elephant file. So to create a column, um, and let's call it uh, weight in kilograms. Um, that's really, really easy to do in R. Okay, I'm going to do data and I'm going to use a dollar sign. Okay, now you can see R Studio's already got a list of the variables in that data file. But I'm going to ignore those. I'm going to create a new variable called weight underscore kilograms. Okay, and again, I'm going to use my uh, symbol here to uh, create a column and I'm going to call this right so the column is going to be essentially the the, the weight in pounds column multiplied by my conversion factor from pounds to kilos okay so I'm going to actually call that column again and call the word data which is my, my data variable which has all that data in I'm going to use a pound sign. It's already got the weight in pounds here. I'm going to click that. Okay. I could have typed it in, but I'm going to click it. And now I'm just going to do a times, which on a computer is a, an asterisk. And I'm going to multiply it by 0.454. And that's the three significant figures. So I know to convert from pounds to kilograms, I can multiply by 0.454. Okay. I'm going to press Control and Enter to run that. Okay, nothing appears to have changed, except for I've now got three variables in my my data object here. Click on that, and you can see I've got a brand new column, weight in kilograms with all my weight. It was that simple. Okay, so that was it for this task. Um, I hope I'm going slow enough. Um, if there are any problems, Microsoft Teams.